Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, so today I will be talking about uh, Spring 2022 feature, that is the collection filter. Um, the reason why I, I, I wanted to talk about this topic, right, uh, a week ago uh, I was trying this option on a customer org and unfortunately it didn't work, you know, because collection filter uh, started acting a bit strange uh, and you know I just had to give up on that because it was in a preview mode uh, then you know today when I looked at my personal org I mean my org got updated when I try that on my org uh, the collection filter seems to work fine now you must be wondering why do we use a collection filter and what the heck this guy is talking about in the first place right so let's dive in and I'll show you what I mean by that um, so before I do that um, I just wanted to go to the case object because we're going to make use of the case uh, to show the collection filter right um, so what I'll do so I will um, f get the uh, case object using the get record and then I use the collection filter to filter it out using F uh, inside a flow um, now you must be wondering why do we need a collection filter to use at uh, to begin with right uh, there are a lot of reasons behind to use it the, the first scenario I'll show you, um, let's say, right, I mean, we all know that, right, I mean, flows can be messy at times, and people write flows in a different ways, right, some flows are, you know, pretty much horrible, and some flows are, uh, you know, have separation of, uh, separation concern, um, so, separations of concern principle, right, what I mean by that, the people separate the flows into subflows, and they make sure that logic is well structured, right, that being said, I have seen flows where people are using, you know, get record multiple times instead of using one and using a collection, right? So that could be a performance improvement, right? So for instance, uh, let me create a new flow. So I'm just going to show you a very simple flow. Um, say for instance, you you wanted to get a case, right? Uh, so this is an auto launch flow. Um, so I'm getting a case. Uh, so when the flow starts, so what I'll do, uh, I will... Uh, do a get record to get the case okay get case um, right um, so it's always good practice to write the description because um, you know otherwise if someone else looks at the flow they will not have any clue what, what you're trying to achieve right and then you use the case here right um, all condition met for now I'm not just concerned about any filter condition so that's fine and I'm saying get the all record, right? And automatically store all fields. Just for the sake of argument, we're just getting everything, right? And I don't have every, I don't have too many cases. But if you are dealing with a customer a database which contains, say, 10 million cases, <laughs> this is a very bad practice. Okay, so keeping that into consideration, right? You know, uh, going back to the analogy of 10 million records, let's say you wanted to filter a case, right, based on status, okay? Um, so you did that, okay, um, say for instance you wanted to filter a case uh, which is new, right, say, let's say you have three case types, so, uh, you know, one is of status, right, new, uh, working on, and closed, okay, so in your flow you have a logic where you're getting a case of type new first, right, and then uh, down the line you're getting a, a case to say a working status right so now you can if you if you imagine uh the performance hit in this case you're trying to uh, query the case subject twice and if it's a 10 million record right it will then slow down your flow so instead you can use uh a case select a case object where the type you know status is uh equals contains or equals to new uh or um, working right so this way you have a collection of uh, the new and working records uh, and then you can use the collection filter to filter that out based on your requirement okay so I have the case right now I'm pretty much getting every case right so what I'm going to do I wanted to filter it using your uh, you know collection filter initially what used to happen right in before the collection filter you have to loop through it and then you have to use the you know if condition to say hey if the status equal to do is put into a separate list so it's kind of a messy right 
Uh, so now the sales force have come up with the collection filter, which is pretty handy. Um, so the problem what I had, right, uh, the custom place. So I was using a uh, collection filter. Uh, I mean, since now we don't have that problem anymore, but I thought it, it's worth mentioning anyway. So I have a collection filter. I said get uh, new cases, right? And this is filtered. Um, so, right, so we just say... Um, so we're using the get record and say probably the type uh, I don't know if it's type kids type equals to um, say I wanted to get the um, other case type right I think it's a status sorry um, status uh, to new right um, so I can do done okay so that doesn't work hang on a second I okay all right so that's right now this filter right it contains information about the case records uh, with the status new right uh, but right you have to understand that it will not impact your get record data anyways it's just like extracting the content from here and filtering it out and this is a performance improvement right so instead of doing a get record down the line, so you can use the, uh, say for instance, you can uh, use the, again a new case filter um, to say um, collection filter, give me a get case uh, by get case status uh, working something, right? And then do that. Um, you can use all your logic you want behind the scene, but I'm um, saying so you can use the filtered as you know, if you can use a filter list to subfilter things, if you wanted to do that, that's fine. But we are looking at the big data, so right, so we're looking at the case and say status uh, equals um, working, right? So I do that for some reason, I don't know. It's, it's a bit funny, right? It just started acting a bit interesting. It's erroring out. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully that's not another bug. So the problem what I have, right? So now I got this filter list, right? And now I wanted to loop through this collection to obviously assign uh, the filter collection to uh, a different variables, right? And when I was trying to do that, except the ID field, every other field I was getting as null. I tried it a few times, I tried different objects, didn't work, so I just gave up using collection filter. Uh, this was like a week ago because I, I've seen the collection filter, I'm like, oh, fantastic, I can use this, I can use, you know, this for, you know, I've used that like for five, six scenarios, and none of them worked when I tried to debug it, so now I feel so happy that they fixed it. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to do loop, right? So, loop through new um so this is the new case right um and so you will know you will see right where what exactly the values you're getting um and uh, so what i'll do i'll just create a one it just is just a dummy um uh, test right so i'll create a new uh variable right so i'll just say a new status and uh, data type just use as text. I know this is a bad practice what I'm trying to do, but you know for now it's all right just to demonstrate what I'm trying to achieve. Uh, assign new status. All right, uh, so just copy here. Okay, so what I'll do, so I will do the um, so just a new. Um, uh, status equals um, so which one is it? Oh, that's confus confusing. Um, loop loop through new. Okay, now I'm just going to do status, right? Because I'm actually trying to use this filter to get it, um, and then you use this the same. I would say new resource. Um, I would say variable um, working uh, status. 
Um, this is just to test the content, right? Whether it's working or not. Uh, text. Um, so, yeah. Um, and so I will do the um, the loops. And so assign working status. Oh, status. All right. Just, just. Um, this is pretty interesting, right? I mean, um, you don't have to use the code, but not using code has its own um, complication, in my opinion. But uh, working case. Oh, sorry. This is a loop. Uh, so this is like a working loop. So I have this. Now I'm gonna assign it and assignment and so we say um, assign uh, working value right um, just put whatever you want at this stage but in in if you're doing a real flow right this is this is not a good way to do it but um, just to say ah uh, come on Um, so this is the working status. Okay, hopefully it works. All right, so let's save it. Whatever the file value that demo flow. Yeah, just give some description, right? Um, so just try to debug it, run it. And you can see, let's see if it's working or not, right? So if you look at the debug step, right? So you got, got the case here, right? So you found successfully found records, which is fantastic collection filter. So you got 79, uh, you know, the filter case. Okay, and let's see loops renew. So um, so it's looping through the new, which is obviously the, the uh, this one, loops through the new, right? assign the new status so this is new which is fantastic so the it's it's looping through like 79 times which is fine so I presume that this is working fine so uh, let's look at this uh, collection status working uh, obviously um, collection status working okay uh, so there is all condition must be true. Uh, presumably, we got none. Okay, so that is all right in my opinion. Um, so, okay, let's look at the closed. Right. So right now we realize that we got no cases, um, which is working. So what I'll do, I will edit the flow and this change the filter to the oh, no, not this one. Sorry. Um, okay, this one. Value M closed. All right, I'm just going to use the closed. Okay, and then I will try to save it and then I'll try to run it, debug it, right? Obviously, I didn't have any case with the status um, new, but definitely I have some cases with closed, right? At least just show, show some. Okay, uh, so this is the working value because I didn't change the name. So obviously, <laughs> that's why you're seeing the mis so the kind of confusion. So uh, working status, so it's got 23, obviously, which just means uh, the case closed. So we got 23 closed cases, um, and so it's looping through it. And so this is a loop, it's running, and it's assigning the status to... Um, Okay. Uh, where is it? Sorry. Uh, close, right? So, as you can see, right, collection filters are very handy. Uh, you can do, you know, filtering, you know, in a very simple way. You don't have to make your flow look messy. Um, you know, so it is very handy, in my personal opinion. 
Um, yes, I do understand that Salesforce wants to invest a lot of their energy uh, to improve the things on floor, which is fantastic, right? Because then, um, you know, people who are not very comfortable with the program, but they can somehow manage it, uh, can really work efficiently uh, on the flows. But that being said, right, um, I just wanted to mention something, right? You know, in in Salesforce space, which is it, this is a very common trend uh, that you know a non-functional, uh, sorry, a functional consultant can write flow in a very comfortable way, right? Unlike you know, you know, other technologies where you need to be uh, a very good developer to get into uh, these kind of things. But that being said, I do encourage, you know, if you're a functional consultant wanting to get into Flow, uh, have a basic understanding of programming, right? Because how the for loop works, how the while loop works, what's the purpose of a loop, uh, you know, because if you understand that, then you will able to understand how to, uh, you know, create a, a fantastic flow, right? Uh, with the proper separation of concern principle, and then you will not make your flow very messy, right? And you will also understand how to bulkify a code because bulkification really improves the performance. Um, and collection filters is really important, uh, in my opinion, in that journey. It's very, um, I think Salesforce did a pretty good job uh, releasing this uh, particular component. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this episode. Thank you very much, guys. You have an amazing uh, evening. Adios.